There's an old saying, if you tell me, I'll forget. If you show me, I'll remember. But if you involve me, I'll understand. And I think that's the importance that I want to bring to a story time is to involve the children, not only in the stories, but the activities that we do in story time as well. We oftentimes forget that nursery rhymes are important first step in teaching a child to learn to read. They're short, they're simple, there's a rhyme pattern in them, and the parents can transpose them as well. They call my see it, say it, sing it nursery rhymes. First I present the story time by flannel. The children can actually see it, it's something concrete. Can Jack be nimble, Jack be quick by illustrating Jack jumped high, Jack jumped low, bring in other vocabulary in that too. Jack jumped around, Jack jumped beside. The more vocabulary a child has when they go to school, the easier it's going to be for them to learn to read. Then we say the nursery rhyme. Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. And when we say that, we do the motions to help them learn the nursery rhyme. They can actually see what does the word beside mean? What does it mean to be under? We take all this for granted, but young children don't know these words until you teach them to them. Singing with the children is just fun. It gets them up, it gets them moving, using their big muscles. By singing it, each word in the nursery room has a different tone, which allows them to hear each individual word and the sounds it makes. Just have fun and read with your children every day because reading is everywhere.